Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are looking at the Games Workshop pre-orders for the 20th of June, 2020. And we only have a few um, items to look at today. I guess Games Workshop is still recovering from the COVID pandemic, but also they are ramping up for 9th edition Warhammer 40,000, which will be coming up very soon. What we have, we have the Dawn of the Lumineth. So we've looked at this um, box in detail, and if you click up in the top right hand corner. So you get three units in this box set, uh, the special edition rule book, some cards, dice, tokens and things like that. The price is set at 310. I don't recall what the Sisters of Battle box was. I think it was around the same price. Um, and I've done a little bit of a calculation to see the value of it, just to make, to see how it's rounding out. So we have two units, they're uh, $90 each, so that's 180. I think the Light of Eltharian will be probably around the 70 Australian dollar mark, sort of around that. The rule book itself, I haven't priced in the special edition price, which is usually, in Australia, it's usually over $100, sometimes $140, um, which is very expensive. But normally you can buy them for 70 so I've priced it at $70. We also have some cards there. I know you can buy cards separately now, so you usually think they're around $20, $25. And then we have the dice, usually they're around $20, $25. So once that's all added up, that comes out to about $370 Australian. So if you buy this box set, you're probably saving about $60 thereabouts. Again, this is just sort of speculation on the price, and I'm only calling the rule book at $70, but in reality, I think it's actually going to be a lot more expensive for the special edition. So yeah, it's it's value. We'll have a quick um, look through here, but like I said, wait until the end of the video, check out the other video, because we go into a lot more detail on that. You also get the Lumineth Realm Lords art cards. So these are around uh, four by six inches, I think. Yeah, four by six inches. So we'll make these up a bit bigger. I really do like the design of the background, the back part, to be honest. <laughs> I'm a man of simple needs. Um, you get an idea of some of the cards here. I've just got a tape measure out, so let's just see how big. So six inches, honestly, they're not very big. They're like tarot card sizes, but you get them for free. So if you put some value on that, sure, it's going to add to buying the Lumineth box set. So that's all the releases for uh, models. Really, that's it. We also do have White Dwarf, and I'm gonna go pick up a copy of that. So we have um, an in Index Xenos for the Goth Orcs. We have a Lumineth Realm Lords Battle Report, rules for Lumineth in Warcry, new rules for Harlequins in 40K, and how to create a new Space Marine chapter, and then there's more for Age of Sigma and 40K. Um, so let's just go have a look a bit more, see what we've got. Like we said, Goth Orcs, how to paint Goth Orcs, how to convert knobs and Big Macs, a new Imperial Hive World, history of a chapter, a little bit of background about the Warhammer terrain, some information about a new campaign rule, a map and four battle plans, and a battle report for Lumineth. Then we, for Warcry, we have part two of the White Dwarf team's jaunt in the Warcry. We also have a Light in the Darkness, which is the rules for the Lumineth in Warcry, which includes the campaign and 11 profiles and points. I think I might get it just for that and do a bit of a deep dive into those rules. We also have a witch hunting kill team, Sisters of Silence for kill team, which is awesome. Some articles for Underworlds, um, look at something for Blood Bowl, and then Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. It's 160 pages for 15 bucks. I think I always enjoy White Dwarf, even if it's just for the models. Hopefully one day they will bring back Blanchitsu because that's what got me back into buying White Dwarf. Um, so I think I'm going to go pick a copy of this up and we will read it on the channel. We also have some books. We have the paperback version of Titan Death, which is part of the Horus Heresy series, which looks at Titans, and Titans are always fun. So war is unleashed on Beta Garmin as the armies of the Emperor attempt to hold back the Tide of Chaos in the last major class before Horus reaches terror itself, and the god machines of the Adeptus Titanicus are on the front line. I think Titans are one of the cooler things in 40k. Giant walking machines which make no sense. I love it. I love the fact that you have pilots and I think they're princeps. Maybe that's for knights. I don't know what they're called for Titans, but they interface directly with the machines and they have their own machine spirit. We also have paperback version of City of Light, which is a 
Mephiston novel. So for all you Blood Angel fans out there, you can get the third book in the Mephiston series. Deep in Imperium Nihilus, Blood Angel's chief librarian Mephiston and his comrades are drawn into battle with the cabal of Thousand Sun Sorcerers and worlds at stake and hidden truths threaten to overwhelm him. This is Mephiston's darkest hour. And we also have Mephiston's new model here. It's been released a couple of months ago, but just the dynamics of that model. I do love it. And I definitely want to do some conversion to create sort of a, mm, probably an inquisitor of some kind, something like that. I think that would be really cool. And the last book we have is paperback version of The Court of the Blind King, which is a Ardeneth Deep King novel. The war of life affects all of Gairan, even the underwater kingdom of the Ardeneth Deep King. With battle raging, Prince Lurian seizes his chance to take the Jade Throne of Briamdar, but can he overcome his foes and his fellow Deepkin to claim his prize? So we have a novel set deep, deep, deep within the oceans where the Ardeneth Deepkin ate the souls of men, I think. I'm not that up on the Ardeneth <laughs> Deepkin lore. That's all we have this week. Um, let's just go back to the army set and bring up the right image. So, of course, these are the models for this month. I am undecided if I want to get this. I know the army box is expensive, and with 9th edition 40k coming out, particularly with the Adomitus box set, that's what I am keen on waiting for. So, I do love these models. There's no denying that. And I am very keen for the light of Eltharian to be released because I think I will just buy that model out of all of them because I am completely in love with it. And we actually do get 360 now, which is what something we were waiting for. So it's just exquisite. It really is. I think this is one of the best models that they've done in a long, long time. So that's it. But until next time, I'll see you later.